we know that one of the famous laws of of electricity is ohm's law right and we know that this is represented by this v is equal to ir and and for a for a normal for a normal conductor if everything is okay then what happens if i i represent this by v and represent this y axis by i then you will find a a linear relationship a, a linear relationship between the two so so you will find you will find this to be the graph right <clears throat> now one thing that you should understand is is on this graph on the on this graph the 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 slope of the slope of the line the slope of the of the line that is that is this curve and how do i know the slope slope is nothing but but the tan of the angle that it makes with the positive direction of the x axis so slope of the line is is equal to tan theta and this is nothing but this is nothing but the the resistance of the resistance of of the the resistor okay so this will represent r right so and why will it represent r why will it represent r you can see at any point that you go okay you take any point here no here here it will represent the the conductance right here here it will not represent the resistance rather it will represent the conductance okay so it will represent the conductance had v been been here had v been here and had i been here then it would have represented the the resistance so here it represents the conductance that is that is which is nothing but 1 upon r right and, and why does that happen that happens due to the simple reason that if you if you if you take a if you take a so, so let me make it a dashed line okay so for the simple reason that that if there is if if if, if this is the point and how is it represented the x axis is represented as i the x coordinate is represented as i and the corresponding say i not and here it is represented as v not v not then what happens then what happens hold on i am currently with the magenta one so so i am not with this i am currently with the magenta thing so so here this will be this will be m here this will be m m i zero because this represents the 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 current and here it will be v not right because this represents the voltage and here it will be here it will be v not and i not yes so here it will be the points will also change and there will be v not the x axis and i not right now now what happens is this length since this length is i not since since this length is i not right since this length is i not this length also is i not right so this is i not right this is i not and 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 this 
in this is is v naught this is v naught now you can very well understand that that in this triangle in this triangle o let this point be p and and this be m so in triangle in in triangle omp which is a right triangle which is a right triangle i not upon v not is equal to tan theta perpendicular no yeah. perpendicular upon base right opposite side upon the adjacent side so i not by v not is is that and what is i not upon v not i not by v not is nothing but 1 upon if i divide both the numerator and denominator by i not so it becomes 1 upon v not by i not and v not by i not is nothing but but r right so that becomes 1 by r that's why it is equal to 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 the conductance the tan theta is equal to the conductance understand so if i have on this graph if i have if i have another line like that right the the magenta line what happens what happens whose resistance is more out of out of 1 and 2 which has a higher resistance suppose this is a question okay which has a higher resistance see from from the discussion that we did right now if if now i designate this as theta 1 and this as theta 2 then what happens tan theta 2 tan is an increasing function so for a higher value of theta 2 tan theta 2 is also higher so if the value of tan theta 2 tan theta 2 is higher if theta 2 is higher so theta 2 here is higher so tan theta 2 is higher so it means the conductance of this is more because this after all represents conductance if conductance is more it means the resistance is less so so resistance of so resistance of resistance of of the second graph of 2 is less than 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 that of 1 right correct so so these interpretations are asked and you should be able to answer them right now now we go to the limitations right now we were discussing the ohms law how how it is and what it signifies but they are there limitations to it and if then what are those limitations right so so you soon see that yes indeed there are limitations to the ohms law and what are those now one thing one thing that you must remember so so we now discuss the limitations right you must have you you must have remembered that whenever you you were doing an electrical experiment the teachers will ask you to unplug it when you are not taking the reading okay to unplug the to switch the to switch the circuit off when you are not taking readings now one of the plausible explanations is that the battery gets drained and you are unnecessarily wasting the resources that is only one part of the story the another part of the story will reveal will will reveal will get revealed now what happens as you let the current remain in the circuit due to the i square r loss due to the due to the i square r loss what happens the circuit gets heated up and we just said that as the circuit gets heated up the the the, the there is there is heat that gets produced and due to that the resistance of the conductor goes up correct so now what you see okay whatever you see now is what is is you you will find that when you started with the resistance was less as as you kind of let it 
the let the current remain in the circuit for a long time it the resistance kind of kind of if this is i and this is v then then if it was if it was a constant thing if it was a constant thing it should have looked like that okay now what happens as as the current starts becoming higher and the and the heat actually is more heat is more what happens is so as as the current continues and 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 and, and, and if this portion the the heat heat uh, that that is generated becomes more so so the resistance starts becoming lesser and we have seen that that for 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 uh, big start, i'm sorry the resistance starts becoming more and we have seen that as the resistance becomes more the conductance becomes less, less. so so and, and this is a conductance the the slope represents the conductance so what happens is is after some time you'll find this say say from here the slope starts becoming lesser and lesser and lesser and this will be something like that right so yes the conductance is decreasing so what does it represent so so from here maybe it it will come like that but gradually gradually as it gets heated and the uh, as it gets heated and the temperature goes up the resistance the resistance goes up the conductance goes down so it starts becoming like that okay so ohm's law so this 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 will no, no longer follow the linear v is equal to i r curve right so linear linearity gets lost linearity gets lost as the conductor gets heated and 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 the and the ohm's law and the ohm's law is no longer valid get that is no longer valid correct now we come to the second case right we come to the second case it so happens in a diode we'll go into the details of diode in chapter number 14 in semiconductor devices correct but for now you you just keep this in mind that that a diode is a semiconductor device diode is nothing but a diode is a is a semiconductor device semiconductor device that device device that is denoted by this okay where this side is a p type semiconductor and this an n type semiconductor this is not the time and place to go into the detail of what a p type conductor is and what an n type conductor is but but you just take it from me that when this is positive with respect to this okay this is said to be forward biased the diode is said to be forward biased and it conducts okay does not conduct like a pure conductor because this is actually made up of semiconductor but it conducts very well right the trouble comes when you make this negative with respect to this this is said to be reverse biased and it absolutely puts it foot down and says i won't conduct so it does not conduct right it simply does not conduct this voltage okay so so this voltage here when it is p is positive and and n is negative this is termed a positive voltage when 
it is in the reverse bias when it is in the reverse bias the voltage is termed to be a negative voltage okay now again there are reasons why this is happening but in the forward bias in the forward bias the diode will not conduct okay till some voltage which is called a knee voltage and after that it 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 starts conducting pretty well okay the slightly non linear the slightly non linear slightly non linear but for all purposes we consider it to be a linear thing okay a linear thing okay the whole trouble the whole trouble comes here so so this is kind of this right the whole trouble comes when you you i have this as my voltage and this as my current this current in the positive direction the 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 unit is in terms of milliamperes in this when it does not conduct there is a small small current that that still flows through that okay that is called the drift current we'll come into those those details later but it conducts a very small amount of current till some voltage right this is and after that and after that it breaks down and this current is so small that the unit in the negative direction is in terms of micro amperes so you understand this is this is this is 1000 times more zoomed in than this and then also it is so small so this is another point of non linearity right understand now the the last category is this the last category is when when the third one is there is a a dual a, a dual value a dual value for a dual value for current now what does that mean so so what what it means is this let me draw the graph so as usual my x axis if it is represented by v and my y axis is represented by i okay and and this is how then this is how it looks it is something like that now what does that mean it means that for for a given value of so if i have a given value of current that current is given at two voltages understand you will get this this voltage this current at 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 v1 as well as at v2 right but that is only part part of the story what happens is 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 in this region in in this region in region after this something strange happens what happens let me let me draw a tangent at this point right i have drawn a tangent at this point now let us see what happens what do i get i get this angle as an obtuse angle right so what happens to the conductance 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 at 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 point p at p is equal to tan theta and that is equal to a negative number a negative number now what does that mean what do you mean by and if conductance is negative then resistance is simply one upon conductance is it not yes. it is one upon conductance so obviously the resistance is also negative now what do we mean by that what do we mean by a, a negative resistance 
ओके आई एम सॉरी टू दिस वॉट डू वी मीन बाय अ नेगेटिव रेजिस्टेंस बाय अ नेगेटिव रेजिस्टेंस वी मीन वी ओनली मीन we only mean this by a negative resistance that that after all resistance or conductance what is conductance conductance is is nothing but bi upon bv right this is your conductance right is that now if i increase my voltage and i decreases this is what is happening in this region normally what are we accustomed with we are familiar with the current increasing when you increase the voltage what is happening here when you increase the when you increase the voltage and when i increase even v increases what happens the the final v2 is greater than v1 so that v2 minus v1 is greater than 0 so it means that dv is greater than 0 now what happens if i decreases it means that the final i2 is less than initial i1 that means i2 minus i1 is 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 less than zero so it means that di is less than zero correct and since so 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 this di becomes a negative quantity this is still a positive quantity so that's why you are getting a negative value here for the conductance right but this happens in in certain certain elements like gallium arsenide this is gallium arsenide okay it exhibits a negative resistance and and a dual value so so it you you get the same current at same current i not at at v1 as well as v2 and and for a part of it for a part of it it will exhibit it will exhibit a negative resistance that means for an increasing v okay so 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 it displays it displays a it displays a negative resistance negative resistance and what happens with the negative resistance what happens with a negative resistance so so current decreases for an increase in v get that the current goes down for an increase in v correct so these are the three cases where the ohms law does not hold good and and it gets violated right it gets violated 